Hello and welcome to our first Faith and Friends show post Thanksgiving. <laughs> that means it's safe to put up Christmas decorations, which you did pre Thanksgiving, didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> We have no limits <laughs> whenever we feel like it. Not at Mark's house, though. How no. do you sing Christmas trees, though? Well, you know, I think Well, you that can sing, oh, Christmas tree, and if you're in the German, oh, Tannenbaum. I like the There's Tannenbaum the singing, the singing Christmas tree at the Allen County Museum Tree Festival. Interesting. And I think the living Christmas tree is coming to Spencerville Church of the Nazarene. That's true. That. That's right. That's you right. Like singing Christmas trees. Yep. All things Christmas can happen from this point onward. I can even get out my snowflake tie. It is time. It is time. So you're saying there's going to be snow? You're, you're saying that we're going to have a white Christmas? We're going to have a white Christmas. I'm singing I'm of it. Dreaming. dreaming of it. Now we got to pay the licensing fee for that song. <laughs> well, this week's show features a cover song that we don't have to pay the license for <laughs> of the well-known Oh Holy Night, which is sung by the local band City of Bright. We first brought it to you last year. And since then, it's been viewed something like 30 or 40,000 times online. And we're going to share it with you again today. Also, today we gear up for the Christmas cookie season. Dr. Trudy Peeper talks about cookies. Is mm. that allowed? She offers some advice how to cut down on belly fat with cookies. I'm Is not, that right? I'm not sure if that's the way the connection uh. works. <laughs> but we never want to cut down on the Word of God, so let's get started with Scripture. Mark. As we look at Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes. But its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Not be anxious in the, in the year of drought. Certainly, as we're entering in this holiday season, and we're going to talk about that throughout the, the month of December here on TV44, we can all feed feel some anxiousness, feel some stress, but there's no need for that when we have our, our rooted in the scripture, rooted in, in God, in the peace we can find through the Bible. Absolutely. Well, Selah, Shekinah, and Jeshua Blackburn make up the sibling Christian band City of Bright. They're based out of Sydney and have become a regular favorite at many churches, youth events, and summer concerts throughout the central and western Ohio region. Well, they have a song today that could do just what Mark is suggesting. They teamed up with Nashville artist Hannah Schaefer for this beautiful rendition of Oh Holy Night.
We've got some financial conversations today. Listen up. Uh, just listen up. It doesn't matter what age range you're in at all. This is information that could be helpful to you. The Bible tells us many times that we are to end well. But what does ending well mean when it comes to financial things or our property or things like that? Well, joining us today on Faith and Friends is Gary Reese, a chartered financial consultant. And we are dive, diving into a big topic here when it comes to ending well financially. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't really know what to do, not only with their money, but with their property, with their family situation. So let's go ahead and have a conversation about it. Thank you. Uh, I meet with a lot of clients that have these issues at heart. And one thing I'd like to say right off the bat is it's very important for folks to have a conversation with their children, with maybe their parents if they're still alive, with other trusted financial advisors like myself, there's many of us around, and just have a conversation about these issues. Because if you keep silent about it, the topic doesn't come up and you never find out the information that can be very helpful. So what is some of the, these issues that we're discussing that we should be talking about with our children or with our parents? One thing that I have found a lot, I've been surprised last few years, is the amount of stuff that we have. Mm -hmm. On a very practical matter, I have seen with situations many times where people, all of us, accumulate so many things over our lifespan. Maybe it's more here in America than in other countries, I don't know. But we do. And it reaches a point where we have so many things, if we reach a stage in life where we're thinking about maybe downsizing or moving or even relocating for whatever reason, we can become paralyzed because we have too much stuff and we don't know how to handle it. Sometimes it's so much we can't even wrap our arms around it, even start thinking about it. So it's good just to keep that in mind as we grow older, it helps to start downsizing, getting rid of stuff, because no one's really gonna want it anyway after we leave, except a few particular items, and try to live maybe a little bit more leanly, if I can say it that way, as far as possessions go, because we don't want our possessions to possess us. Absolutely. It can be difficult to get rid of that stuff that maybe is sentimental to me personally, but my children growing up see no value in it. Would you recommend talking with the children, adult children, and saying, what are the pieces you would like to keep? What are the things that nobody really needs? Absolutely. The more conversations you have, the better. If your parents are still alive, you've probably already had that conversation or in the process of having that conversation which can be a whole, a hard for the people older than I am now. That generation grew up during the Depression mm -hmm. or had parents that grew up during the Depression. So their mindset is not to talk a whole lot about things like mm -hmm. this, finances and possessions and things like that. So see your opportunity and listen if your parents start talking about it mm -hmm. out of the clear blue sky someday when you're work, working with them or with them or whatever, listen and pay attention and be ready to ask a few questions. The more you know, the better off you are to be able to help them in their later years. We are about out of time and we have opened up quite a few doors with a yes. lot of topics that we could talk a lot more about. But one thing I've heard you say over and over again is the importance of a conversation. Yes. Conversations not just with family members, but also with professional individuals who can help. And you have said there are a lot of people yes. that are available, but I know that Faith Investment Services is a faith-based organization. Before we're, we're done, why don't you just briefly tell me what does your organization do and how can you help in these situations? We invite people to fill out a questionnaire before you come to meet with us. We do not, we only work with those that want to work with us. So we set the stage by filling out a questionnaire, then you're allowed to sit down and talk with me. We will talk with anybody as long as they're willing to put some skin in the game by taking the time to fill out a questionnaire. So when we meet, we just have a conversation. There's no selling going on. There's no anticipation of any ulterior motives or anything like that. We just have a conversation and see what happens because we found that each situation is unique. Many times we're able to direct people to go, go see this professional, go see this professional. You might want to consider this, you might want to consider that. And we can take care of that in an initial conversation very easily. And from that point on, there's a relationship started. And then the person decides whether they want to continue that relationship or not. So we're here as a resource person first and foremost, and then from there we decide how people can be helped in more particular ways. Each situation is unique. That's why I don't like making broad 
statements about every situation because it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's what we try to do. And I know that personally you see what you're doing as a ministry. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. We appreciate that. We get a chance to pray with people and encourage them. And it's interesting when we see people when they share and open their hearts about things, it's like God shows up and gives wisdom and insight and clarification. It's not like he's been absent, but it's in the middle of a conversation about these issues that God is giving direction. And we always pray for clarity of mind and purpose and that we have peace of the decisions that we make. And credit to God. I mean, we have the opportunity to be an encouragement to people and that's what we're about. All right, Gary Reese. Faith Investment Services. Thank you so much. If you'd Thank like you. to uh, continue a conversation with Gary, here is where you can find him. The website is on the screen, myfaithinvestments.com, and his email address is gary.reese at cfdinvestments.com. And of course, you can contact us here at TV44 if you have any questions about any of the information that we just shared with you or more information about how you can get in touch with Gary Reese. Thank you so much Thank for you. uh, your well, wisdom, your knowledge, and for coming to Faith and Friends to share it with us today. Thank you, my privilege. Belly fat, oh, what a topic we're gonna hit today in our health segment with Dr. Trudy Pieper. We all deal with it. Some like to unaffectionately call it the muffin top, but you know what? Every single one of us grows up in life and deals with belly fat. But the positive thing is we don't have to deal with it forever. There are some things that we can do that can help with our situation. Absolutely, the visceral fats, what it's called, the deep fat around your belly, um, is very serious to your health. I mean, uh, besides looking bad, no one wants a muffin top, but it can lead to diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and dementia. So it's more than just the way you look, it, it's also for your, your lifelong health. You need to take seriously about removing that fat from your body. So I'm sure there's a lot of people at home that are gonna say, oh, well, yeah, that's me. I certainly want to take the steps to do that. Um, are we talking easy things here or tough things? Well, of course not. We have the, the three basic things that we always talk about in general health. First of all, you need to reduce your sugar. Now there's number one, um, bell, uh, sugar or that's converted in the liver to glycosin is then stored in the belly when we don't need it. And that's the job of insulin. Insulin is actually transportation. Insulin's made in the pancreas and as you eat sugar and you eat too much of it and your body says, okay, we use the sugar for energy. Where do we take this in the body to store it? Um, we don't need it in the heart. The brain's thinking fine. So let's store it for future use. And we so they do. It goes and it stores it in the cells in the belly. Those cells expand four times, mm -hmm. fill up with that glycosin, gl glucose, sugar, and then th they expand and grow into more cells. So if you want to stop that process, you have to stop eating sugar. So it, it's harder it, to do in America than you might is. want to say. <laughs> I just read something the other day where 75% of all processed foods have sugar in them. Mm. So if you're eating processed foods, you're probably eating extra sugar that you don't need. So just again, keyword intentional, look at the amount of sugar, try to cut back wherever you possibly can. Uh, a lot of times just if you're doing sodas, if you go, you're drinking three sodas a day, drink one soda a day. Just do some little things and every little bit makes a difference. All so right. that's when the top one is sugar. But the second, again, and we were just talking about exercise. If you can't run, you can walk. Mm -hmm. And the only way of getting rid of the belly fat is you have to combine both diet and exercise. And exercise requires both aerobic, so walking three days a week, and strength development or resistance exercise so that you're working those muscles and expending energy to remove the sugar from the, from the belly. So walking three days a week and strength development two days a week will, will uh, the quickest way to get rid of the belly fat. And that can be difficult for people who haven't started that. Is right. there a way that they can start and build up to that kind of thing? Which they probably should if they haven't been exercising They have, regularly. and what I usually suggest is to try to combine the two of them. It's hard if you haven't been exercising to all of a sudden start exercising five days a week is not going to happen. So let's be realistic. Let's say, all right, we're going to go twice a week and we'll do both resistance and aerobic at the same time. 
remember back in the day, and this kind of talks about how old I am, but when they, we did the jazzercise <laughs> and everyone had the weights yeah. that you put around your wrists and the waist around your ankles. Mm -hmm. So that's resistance. Um, just simply, even if you don't have the weights that you can put in your hands or your ankles, uh, take a can with you, uh, a one pound can in each hand, and when you walk for 15 minutes, swing your hands carrying the cans, the canned foods, and now you have resistance. So you're getting resistance and aerobic. Excellent. So reduce sugar, increase or maintain proper exercise, and number three? Sleep. We're a nation that does not sleep. And if you do not sleep, your, your energy is so much lower. And then what happens is, it's a vicious cycle, that you have no energy, so what do you do? You eat sugar. <laughs> and so it gets back into that. So um, fatigue often leads to eating more sugar, and which also causes more problems. So trying to get at least eight hours of sleep every night is really important in, in getting rid of your belly fat. Eight hours is a tough thing. It is. We surveyed Americans to find out how many adults are actually getting eight hours. I guessing it's going to be less than 50%. It is less than 50%. I think that it's like 30 to 35% actually get eight hours a night. Wow. So we're a sleep deprived country. Yes. So reduce sugar, exercise, and sleep. Three main lifestyle changes right. that can help. And those are lifestyle changes, Jennifer, that's going to help just about anyone with any disease or problems you have. You have arthritis, you do these three things that's going to help. But in addition to that, there's three things that we can add that will be more targeted for the belly fat. And the first thing is, is detoxing with lemon water. Something that's easy to do. Um, and the, the reason why you want to do that, lemon water helps you detox your liver. And it's the liver that will help process the fat, the toxins out of your belly and move it through your body. So if your liver isn't working well, the whole process stops and doesn't work. So as simply as drinking water every morning, warm water with half a lemon will help your liver work better and then it will increase the enzymes that allow your liver to do a better job. That sounds simple. It does. I mean it really, yeah. it's easy to do. Cut a lemon, throw it in and that's right. That's an easy there. starting point. Start Don't start water. with coffee. Actually, coffee's a whole nother subject. <laughs> we won't go there. But, you know. <laughs> well, the coffee comes after the lemon water <laughs> to do that. All right. How about burning fat? Boy, we want to do that, don't we? Yeah, let's do it easy. So we don't want to do the exercise. What can we do so that we can burn fat? Well, praise God, he has given us two wonderful herbs, and they're called thermogenic herbs. And when you use these herbs every day, they cause your body, or they increase your body temperature so that you burn fat more effectively. In other words, they're increasing your metabolism. And by increasing your metabolism, it helps to burn off the fat. The, two, the, the herbs are cinnamon and ginger. Again, both mm -hmm. really easy herbs to find. Most people mm -hmm. have them in their kitchens. And by adding a teaspoon of either one, cinnamon or ginger, every day. And you can be creative. Jennifer, you can put that um, on cereal in the morning. You can mix it in a smoothie you're making. Mm. Put some in some yogurt. Um, sprinkle it on a salad later in the day. But a teaspoon will uh, actually cause your body to have a higher metabolism. And here's a bonus with both of those. It also suppresses cortisol production. Another reason why people have belly fat is because they have too much cortisol. All of the stress in life is causing their adrenals to make this cortisol. And again, they don't need it. They're not in a fight or flight situation. And so it's storing that. So it also suppress cortisol. That sounds like something that a person could start right now. They don't have to go to the store and buy a capsule. They right. just go to the pantry, pull out the cinnamon and, or the ginger. And, and cinnamon tastes great. It makes <laughs> you think of the holidays, doesn't it? <laughs> It's good. Just think, the holidays and losing belly fat oh at the same gosh. time. That's a great, <laughs> great bonus. All right, well, what's the next tip we can do? And then the last thing is um, we tend to retain fluids um, when we're, we have belly fat. And we want to try to help our body naturally get rid of those. And so shedding some extra weight because the fluids in your body weigh a lot. And then when you're retaining fluids, you know, your, your, your tummy just pillows out because you have all this fluid in it. So it expands those cells we were talking about earlier. So it, what we want you to do is think of some natural diuretics. And natural diuretics as opposed to chemical or even over-the-counter diuretics actually add potassium back into your body instead of taking it away. Uh, there's a couple I can think of offhand that work really well. One is dandelion leaf. 
And don't go to the store and buy dandelion root. The dandelion root will help your liver, but it will not help you lose the fluids out of your body. So mm -hmm. it's dandelion leaf. You either can get it um, gather from your, there's still some in your yards, I'm sure. You can make some tea out of that or put it into salads or get some capsules and take that daily. Um, another one is corn silk. Mm -hmm. And corn silk is a great uh, diuretic. As a matter of fact, I use it a lot with my kids who are bedwetters or people who go to bed and, at night and they have to get up six times during the night to pee. So if you take uh, corn silk before bedtime, it causes you to completely empty your bladder and allowing more uh, fluids then from the, the retained fluids into your bladder and makes it so you don't have to get up during the night. So either dandelion leaf or corn silk are great choices. Excellent, how interesting. Three key lifestyle changes, but then three individual points that you can also add in, all in all to help reduce that belly fat, but also just give you a better healthy system overall. I just continually find it amazing how God has just provided. God provides these key things that we need for our lives. Sometimes we want to make it more complicated. It's just very, very simple, a lot of common sense. And again, we were made to thrive. Mm -hmm. God has given us everything we need because he has work for us to do. You know, every person was made with a, a, a purpose and a reason. And to be able to fulfill the purpose that God has for you, you need to have the best quality of life that you possibly can, can have. And so removing belly fat may be one way to help you have a better quality of life, but also to be a better servant. Mm, absolutely. What incredible words. Not just medical advice, health advice from Dr. Trudy, but spiritual advice because, you know, that is. It all boils together. God did put us here for such an important purpose. And, man, I'm so thankful for the purpose God has put you here for <laughs> to give us this advice and to help us. Oh. Well, it's, it's a joy, and it's always a joy to be here and to share this information. Um, I feel so blessed that God has enabled me to learn this knowledge and then to be able to pass it on and to, to share it with you and with the viewers. Um, and I will encourage everybody, if you're getting benefit from this program, please remember that uh, TV44 is a nonprofit organization. And even though I donate my time to be here and I'm glad to do that, there's a cost to put this program on. And if you're getting something from this program, please consider sending in a donation to help other people to learn more about how to be healthy and to be able to serve their Lord in a better capacity. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was completely unplanned. We did not even talk about that. Thank you so <laughs> much, Dr. Trudy, for that. Um, we're in this together. We're we all are. here to help all of us thrive, thrive uh, because Jesus is awesome and Jesus has great plans for all of our lives. Dr. Trudy Peeper from Johnstown, take a look at uh, the information on your screen so that we get that right. Thank you so much, Dr. Trudy Peeper, with today's health seg segment. The TV44 annual fall campaign is underway now. Your donation of any amount is used in full to spread the message of Jesus Christ to all in the region. TV44 is a family-friendly station. The programs are safe for all ages, and TV44 stands on the Word of God and biblical truth. Donate today by phone, mail, or online. You can also sign up for automatic monthly withdrawal. Thank you for your prayers and your partnership, as together we carry Christ's mission into 2017. That is correct. Our annual fall campaign is underway. Your partnership with TV44 not only supports programs just like this one, Faith and Friends, it also makes way for many of the national shows you love. David Jeremiah, Joyce Meyer, In Touch with Chip Ingram, and many more. Most of our programmers do not pay to have their programs airing on TV44, so we are thankful for your support, which keeps all these great programs available here on TV44. Now our campaign goal is $175,000 for the upcoming calendar year. What we actually would love to see is that that goal is blown away and exceeded. We ask you to be praying if God would have you partner with us or continue partnering with us if you've been a faithful supporter, as well as praying that others would want to become a, a part of our team. Here are your several ways to give the TV44's funding campaign. One is by mail or in person at 1844 Beatty Road right here in Lima. 45807. You can give by phone, call 419-339-4444, and you might get our answering machine. If you do, leave a message and we'll return your call as soon as possible. You can give online safely and securely at www.wtlw.com or a monthly automatic withdrawal. And for more information, call us or email us, contact at wtlw.com. 
And there is one additional way that you can donate to TV44 if you happen to be a Thrivent Financial member. If you're wondering what Thrivent Financial is, well, you can look them up online or give us a call. But if you are a member, then this may be for you. Thrivent offers a program called Choice Dollars. Choice Dollars can be designated to the nonprofit organization of the Thrivent member's choice. TV44 is approved as one of those choices. This means if you are a Thrivent member and you have Choice Dollars to designate, all you have to do is select American Christian Television Services and the allocated money goes directly to TV44. You can do this through the Thrivent website or over the phone. No money out of your pocket, but yet you are partnering with TV44 in such an important way. To find out more about the Thrivent Financial Choice Dollars program, you can call your Thrivent Financial representative or just give me a call at 419-339-4444, extension 162, or email me at jbeck at wtlw.com. Great opportunity there to support TV44 and mm -hmm. uh, do so. Those dollars have to go somewhere. That's so. right. If you are alloc one of those people who have that and you don't allocate your money, then the Thrivent Financial Corporate will just allocate it to their own choice of a nonprofit. And they're not going to pick us. So it's your opportunity <laughs> to do it. We certainly would be blessed to have that um, funding coming in. Of course, it's the Christmas season, and we are in the giving spirit at TV44. If you didn't win those Sandy Patty tickets, never fear. Two more ticket giveaways happening right now. December the 16th, contemporary Christian artist Josh Wilson, best known for his song, That Was Then, This Is Now, coming to Calvary Evangelical Church in Van Wert. It's December the 16th, as I said, and we're giving away a family four-pack of tickets for this event. You could be that winner. Perhaps you'd rather attend the December 17th John Tesh Big Band Christmas. Christmas, that is, as I said, December 17th, Nice Longer Performing Arts Center in Van Wert. We are giving away two tickets to that event. Now's the time to sign up for either one. You can enter at the Faith and Friends website. Visit www.faithandfriends.wtlw.com. Click on Contests or email us at faithandfriends at wtlw.com. You'll need to include your name, address, phone number, email, as well as a Bible verse that is meaningful to you. Or you can call by entering by calling. Dial 419-339-4444, uh, extension 162. Leave your name, address, phone number. In any case, make sure you let us know which concert you're interested in attending. A winner will be drawn December the 9th. 